All right, exercise number one, upping the difficulty in the pick and practice. So, as it says on the page, you're going to use strict alternate picking. Uh, this is definitely not a good, the most effective way or efficient way of playing something like this, but we are just working on improving the picking mechanics and accuracy and all that. So, you're going to down up, down up, down up the whole time and don't leave your fingers down to make a chord. So we don't want that sound. So you gotta take your fingers off. Off and, off and on. And only have, basically you're only gonna fret when you need to have a note ring out. So that might prove a little difficult for the left hand as well. But uh, hey, good work for both hands all around then. So here it is at 60. If you get a little bit of bleed through on some of the notes, it's not a huge deal. As long as you're making an effort to take your fingers off when, when needed. Uh, here it is, double time, 120. Maybe for some practice, that wasn't that great. Um, yeah, so, no real goal speed, I guess, for this. Just get it as fast and best as you can. So, same idea here. Strict alternate picking and not letting notes ring out as much as possible. So here it is at 60. Double time. Yeah, let's stop at 200 this time. Time. So this week working on going between gallops and reverse gallops. And really the main difference between a gallop and a reverse gallop, gallop will emphasize the downbeat, where the reverse gallop emphasizes the upbeat. As you can see here, the downbeat here is an eighth note. So you have that space before you got the two faster notes here. Uh, and then here, the downbeat, or sorry, the upbeat is the eighth note here. So halfway through the beat, you have the chord that lasts the longer one for the reverse gallop, whereas the gallop begins with the longer lasting note. 
Some people refer to these as triplets, and they are wrong to do so. Remember, just because you have three things in a row does not make it a triplet. There are three things in a row, like, uh, like you might, like this one, especially you think of it like da 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 Some people call it a triplet because they're hearing one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. But remember, a triplet has to be an even spacing of one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, da 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 So evenly spaced group of three. So anyway, maybe you knew that already. I don't know. Go down to 60. And yeah, this is really these rhythms this week just to help get you familiar and comfortable with going between the different gallop and reverse gallop combinations. Because it's, it's a very common thing, very common thing to do in metal stuff, to go between gallops and reverse gallops. So here we go. One, two, three, four, one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, e and two, e and three, e and four, e and one, e and two, e and three, e and four, e and one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, e and two, e and three, e and four, e and one, e and two, e and three, e and four, e and boom. Alright, next one. One, two, three, four, one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, e and two, e and three, e and four, e and one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, e and two, e and three, e and four, e and one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, e and two, e and three, e and four, e and one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, e and two, e and three, e and four, e and done. Ah, like I want to sneeze. Okay, next one. One, two, three, four, one, and a two, and a three, e and four, e and one, and a two, and a three, e and four, e and one, and a two, and a three, e and four, e and one, and a two, and a three, e and four, e and one, and a two, and a three, e and four, e and one, and a two, and a three, e and four, e and one, and a two, and a three, e and four, e and one, and a two, and a three, e and four, e and done. Number six, one, two, three, four, one, and a two, e and three, and a four, e and one, and a two, e and three, and a four, e and one, and a two, e and three, and a four, e and one, and a two, e and three, and a four, e and one, and a two, e and three, and a four, e and one, and a two, e and three. And a four e and one and a two e and three and a four e and one and a two e and three and a four e and done. Number seven, second to the last one. One, two, three, four. One e and two e and three and a four and a one e and two e and three and a four and a one e and two e and three and a four and a one e and two e and three and a four and a one e and two e and three and a four and a one e and two e and three and a four and a one e and two e and three and a four and a one e and two e and three and a four and a done Okay, and the last one. One, two, three, four.
four, one E and two, and a three E and four, and a one E and two, and a three E and four, and a one E and two, and a three E and four, and a one E and two, and a three E and four, and a one E and two, and a three E and four, and a one E and two, and a three E and four, and a one E and two, and a three E and four. And a one E and two and a three E and four and a dun 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 dun. All right, um, I believe that covers everything. Yeah, let me know if you got questions. And uh, everything seems to be moving along rather smooth. We'll be combining the gallops and reverse gallops next week in a confusing way. So, this is all preparation for that, and then we'll be hitting some different 16th note rhythm uh, variations, so moving, moving along pretty quick here with this rhythm stuff, so good. Alright man, we'll see you next week.